Hi guys. So um, after the Lumina video, um, I thought I'd go through some of my Dark Angel stuff. Um, it's obviously a little bit different than the Age of Sigmar stuff that we've been doing on the channel, but I thought that it would be quite quite good to show some of the models and hopefully uh, sort of like explain the process in which I'd done them. So um, I guess first things first, I'll do the uh, Intercessor Champion. So uh, hopefully you can see the, the model okay um, and yeah I, I kind of did this the the same sort of way as the the heavy metal team would have done theirs but um, obviously nowhere near to the same standard it's just more a case of me sort of like trying to replicate as close as I can to that with whilst making it gaming standard um, it's hard to get the the true sort of like color uh, profile that you've got on here but you can see that I've done sort of like the uh, if I can show you, it's all like the, the chunkier highlight and then the line highlight. And then again, I would normally take these up a little bit higher, um, but I haven't done this because it's like just a squad member, if that makes sense. So it's basically a case of just, you know, undercoating the model Dark Angel Green, doing a 50-50 mix of, oh, sorry, Caliban Green, uh, doing a 50-50 mix of Caliban Green and, um, and Warpstone Glow, and then doing a, like a line highlight of Warpstone. So you get that chunky highlight that the heavy metal team sort of like talk about quite a lot. Um, I'm not sure if you can see it as easily on like the shoulder pad. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, I think that they it does a good job. Um, the the Parasword's obviously done in sort of like your standard Parasword style, which I, I followed the Darren Lay from YouTube video um, to, to, to do that. And then the, you can see that there's like transfers in the free hands on sort of like the, the shield plus your uh, your microsol. Um, I've, I've provided the aged rust uh, four-jawed weathering powder on the legs. Um, I, I apply that as like a wash and then uh, then I dust it on afterwards, um, just to tighten to the bases. I I know, I've you know I've had a little bit of constructive criticism online about people saying that they don't really like the orange on the base, but I think it it's quite nice and ties it to the ground and also, like, uh, kind of makes the model sort of like feel like they're part of the environment. Um, here's just a normal tactical intercessor that you can see. Uh, I've done sort of like the similar style, um, third company with the uh, the knee pad, um, using the, the the actual like the Dark Angel upgrade sprue. Um, you can see that I've like done the freehand in sort of like that gothic style there. Um, the the whites are very nice to do on the the Dark Angels as well. I've done them traditionally sort of like they're really cold um so like you with ultramarines you get sort of like that that warm parchment so with the dark angels and the purity seals i've done it a different way which is quite a nice way of doing it really which is celestial gray and then you do sort of like a controlled glaze of thunderhawk blue and then do celestial gray and white 50 50 and then edge highlight white and i think it makes it look kind of cool and kind of cold which is nice um just showing you sort of like uh, one of the, the the captains, which is a conversion or kit bash. Um, you know, I've just used a, a standard sort of sword from the, um, I believe it's from the Dark Imperium box set, maybe even the one before that, I can't remember the name of it, but I've done that and uh, I've applied sort of like, just cut off the um, the dark the wings off the helmet of the guy um, and just stuck them on because I think it kind of makes him look a bit more dark angely um, and provided sort of like a, a banner top, sort of like a shoulder pad top, which is um, from the Ravenwing upgrade sprue. Um, really nice to do. Um, I think it looks really cool. Uh, the sort of like the, the maroon color here, it, that's done with exactly the same way as I did the Lumina stuff. So again, it's Baron Nar Burgundy, uh, you know, then a Baron Nar Burgundy and 50-50 mix with Screamer, uh, Screamer Pink and then right the way up. Uh, I do get asked quite a lot about the, the, the cream on the pads, on the sort of like the... Um, the cloaks you can see it more on some of the other models i've done but that's done with wraith bone um so you basically wraith bone the entire thing get it nice and flat um, and then do a 50 50 mix of contrast medium and snake bite contrast and just glaze it into the recesses this is again it's a little bit rushed a little bit rough uh i'll, I'll get the my um my primaris lieutenant dark angel that i did to a higher standard and show you a little bit better on that one um Deathwing Knight. Uh, Deathwing Knight's done very similarly uh, to the normal stuff, which is uh, essentially, you can see a bit of hair on that. Um, yeah, essentially, you uh, do Wraith Bone and then 
control wash the pin shade, the recesses of it with um, snake bite leather um, and then edge highlight it white um, and it kind of turns, I mean, it looks a bit flat in my opinion. I think maybe if I'd have done it a little bit different, I'd try and add a bit more depth to it if I was doing it to a higher standard. But I think as an actual gaming piece, it looks kind of cool. Again, sort of like the dust to sort of like tie it into the base. Um, you know, after some feedback online, I pushed the, the green on the, uh, the, the heart, like the hood and the, the tabard as well. Um, because people said it like, you know, it didn't pop enough. So I've pushed that and it's again, the, the same green as I do the armor. It sort of like ties it all together then and makes it work. Um, then interrogate a chaplain. Um, you know, added a few dark angel bits to him just to make him look a little bit more dark angel-y. Uh, the transfers, the transfers here, sort of like uh, on the, sort of like his shoulder pad bits or like the, his brooch bits, uh, that's a, sh a transfer and that's a transfer. Um, you know, added the dark angel book there from the upgrade sprue and then that again from the Raven Guard upgrade kit, which is, uh, sorry, Raven Wing upgrade kit, which is brilliant. Um, again, game and standard, just trying to get it on the table, make it look cool. Um, I've done the the typical heavy metal cold black sort of scheme, which is um, Inky by Darkness, a black Inky by Darkness, a Thunderhawk blue Fenrisian. You can see I haven't actually done the, the backpack yet, which means that you can see the, the, the difference of where it starts. Um, but yeah, it's kind of like looking good. And I've also sort of like tried to do scratches on the lever, um, which I did with, if I remember rightly, it was Carrick Stone. So, uh, and then I've done that. So you can see, I'm not sure if you can see the scratches a little bit more there. Um, but yeah, uh, again, applied the same cool sort of colour scheme uh, on the, the tabard. And then the Redemptor Dreadnought. Um, this one, again, following the same scheme as just on the Dark Angel stuff uh, and the cool green. You can see the cool black. You can see like the, the chunky highlight there on the, the barrel of the gun quite nicely. Um, you know, some standard freehand stuff. It's a little bit dusty where it's been on the side. Um, but yeah, it's uh, hard to get this because he's so close in the zoom in. And you can see that I need to smooth out the transfer a bit there. But again, you can see kind of like what I was looking for for that. The base is scratch built um, because there's no base toppers that sort of size. So like I'd used uh, old Citadel uh, movement tray bits, cut that up with some plastic art and then just some standard stuff on there to make it look like he's stepping up onto a pavement. Um, you can see the detail on the, the sarcophagus and stuff, but this was really fun to paint actually. Like, you know, I did this, I believe at the start of lockdown. Um, and I, thinking about it now, it would be nice to add a little bit more to him, like, you know, maybe some, make him look a little bit more dark angel-y. But yeah, that's uh, that's kind of like an overview of my dark angels. I'll just grab the lieutenant so you can see the cloth a little bit better um, and uh, see what, show you that guy. So this guy I tried to paint to a higher standard, as you can see, he's a little bit neater. Um, he's still a lot, like a lot of work in the, you know, when you're zooming in on this, you can see the like the, the fact that I'm messy with the highlights still, but you can kind of see a better overview of how I applied the, um, you know, the, the wraith bone and then shaded into the recess like uh, on that one. And this one's taken up quite high again it would essentially be caliban caliban and warp stone then warp stone and then right on the edges you do moot so you can see that this one's quite you know he's quite more stark um, and then i just sort of like spot like you can see on the edges there like you put some spot colors of uh, i believe it's gorse blaster just to make it sort of like pop you can see on the top of like the this sort of like the collar um again darren latham um Parasword video, which is essentially Sotek green, um, and then right the way up through Temple Guard blue to Baharoth blue, and then to white, and then you sort of like uh, recess shade to make it, the sword look a bit darker. So you can see that there's like black mixed into the Sotek there, and then just like an edge highlight of white. Um, but yeah, that's kind of how I did it. The Darren Latham YouTube videos are amazing. Um, and it, for, for people like me who, who are very good at following stuff, um, then the the base is done using the um the rob paints miniatures version uh, again like this is what the tester was for my luminef um initially the luminef were going to be like this purple instead of the burgundy um which is what i did uh straight on that one but yeah i was quite happy with this one but um yeah just a quick overview of my dark angels if um 
if anyone's got any questions feel free to, to ask uh, like hit me up on twitter um or in the comments below or in the the youtube channel or on the facehammer twitter um you know and uh, i'll be happy to answer any questions thank you